early in the morning. It's a Sunday and I should be asleep. Oh, the alarm's gone off. I need to go and get James Kimberley. Ooh, it's too early. Okay, I'll, we're taking a bit of a picnic today just to just to supplement the food that is down on sale wherever we're going to go, down the Brands Hatch. Experience has suggested that uh, that food can be quite expensive at these places, so it's not necessarily being a cheapskate, but no, actually, it is just being a cheapskate. Okay, time to go. Uh, it's still dark. This implies that it's coming to winter. Okay, so we're going to put some tunes on and go pick up James. Should be good. I hope, just hope it's worth it. I'm uh, not very good in the mornings. Bit of the sugar babes. Good thing to start with. I am now outside the Kimberley Mansion. Are you, uh, you going to come out then, are you? I'm waiting for you. Hey, come on! I am in your drive. Stop, stop teasing. Come on then, sir. Okay, bye bye. So I'm outside James's house now, and uh, as per usual, he's not ready. So we're just going to have to wait for him for a little while. <laughs> to Good morning, Isra. sir. Good morning. And have you come to Karbala because you were brought up in the Jewish tradition? No, like many Jews of my generation, I was brought up in a very orthodox house. This is Radio 4 in the background, by the way. I looked at all sorts of things. Thought I'd just get some intellectual stimulation on the Kabbalah faith. It's delight. In fact, one of my instructors said to me, you learn... So we're here now at the Grand Prix, the A1 GP inaugural. It's already getting busy at, what time is it James? I do not know, I'll check. <laughs> it's about 8.30 in the morning. 8.30. Sprint race is going to be, let's try that again. Sprint race will be starting in several hours. Got the tickets. Enough. 
Program each and share. Uh, program each and share the radio. Yeah, even, uh, just uh, one here for the radio. No problem. Oh. Program, program each and uh, radio. There you go. Thank you. Hello. So yeah, two programs, please. Thanks. Thank you. Let's get the radios. Oh, sorry. Hi, can you go for two radios, please? Are they one earpiece? Or are they? Yes. Yeah. That's great. What frequency are they, are they tuned into the frequency? They're just tuned in already, yes. Oh. Thank you very much indeed. She's pretty cool. Is that the paddock over there or is that the other side of the track? Straight, that is. Where? Pit lane on the right. Just, just start finish there. Is that the pit lane just there? Yeah, yeah. What's that way over in the back there? That's the uh, first corner down the hill. The Pakistani team is practicing changing tyres, which is good to see a couple of hours before the race. Correction, the Irish team is practicing changing tyres, which is good to see a couple of hours before the race. Where do you reckon the best place to sit will be? Over by the burger bars, over there underneath the TV screen. Over there. Is that the uh, best place for seeing most of Accidents on the on the track, eh? Yeah, you shall see. Turn one. Crashes on turn one. The video, yeah. Is Radio Brands 87.7 FM. Turn two. Just waiting uh, for the warm up yeah, at 10 o'clock. Now 9.30. Great, great interesting radio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How much did you pay for your radio, Jim? Five pounds, same amount you paid. Oh, that's good. 
sorts of days at Grand Prix events. It's not just one race. There's several different races and now we're watching some Ferrari. advantages of having cheap tickets is that you're not located within one specific position. So we've seen here and now we're just going to go and walk around try and get a different angle on the uh, on the cars. Hopefully see some KK Rosberg, Graham Hills Brabham BT34 from 1971, Jackie Stewart's Tyrrell. <laughs> Good appreciate it. Hey, hello, Miss Portugal. <laughs> Just watching with admiration. Riding a unicycle is something I wish I could do. So ladies and gentlemen, you have a fleet of 25 taxis coming down onto the grid to pass their national flags. And starting alphabetically with A, of course, A for Australia, 
followed by A for Austria. So in any moment now, the crowd will come forward and the driver representing his country in the first of the two races, the sprint race, will step out to be introduced, starting with Will Power for Australia. Please feel free to shout and wave your flags and sound your air horns. The drivers would love all the support that they can get. 25 drivers ready to do the honour. They're racing for their nation. So on cue, not talking from the front of the driver, Will Power liking to stay focused. where they're different when the cars are all the same yep. still no overtaking because they split up and once their gap's too big they can't get into the slips and they've got a boost button there yeah the boost button the only way they can do it is do a how does a guy like that get a girl like <laughs> is a um, ballast weigh the cars down what does that do yeah, whoever wins gets a bit more weight put onto the car to slow them down for the next race yeah that's a bit artificial you, that's though, the only way to keep the cars together to get overtaking happen because the best driver should be able to fight against the weight. What about put the best driver at the back of the grid? Yeah, you could do it on this one, this type of sport, because the cars are the same.
we're allowed to get that in. Five live? Got well, five live on? That's not five live, Chris. Be the race leader, Christian Blazel, to go oh, through. Just bent to match for a moment. Uh, and into the pit lane comes the... There you go. It's good because we're uh, about to run out of tapes in three minutes. Okay. Although when you put the earplugs in, it's not quite so good. Just an... The sheer noise when they come around the corner, phenomenal. I don't know if it's bad for your hearing, but without the earbuds in, oh, brilliant, brilliant. Take your 